since the year 2000 to the present, we've seen a phenomenal decrease in pelagic sharks. And this is obviously directly as a result of shark longlining and longlining as a whole. Uh, around the year 2000, it wasn't uncommon for us to have up to 100 blue sharks around our boat. Today, we're lucky if we get a handful on a good day. It was seven years ago that I was fortunate enough to meet you. You had some things to say that were pretty disturbing about the state of sharks here, particularly the disappearance of pelagic sharks. Sure. How has that changed in the last seven years? Better or worse? Nothing's really changed in South Africa. I mean, the big problem in this country is that we've got a lot of good laws, but there's very little enforcement. And from a pelagic shark point of view, there's still a very, very active pelagic shark fishery. It's completely legal in South Africa. A lot of people think shark long lining is Ill illegal, but it's actually legal in our country. And they're killing tens of thousands of sharks. The recent statistics show, that, um, and these are from the Department of Agriculture, Forests and Fisheries, which is South Africa's marine governing body, that up to 12 million sharks go through the port of Cape Town every single year. 12 million animals. So South Africa, whilst it's well known in conservation circles for ecotourism, um, the track record when it's coming to actually killing sharks, the dark side of what we do is, is pretty appalling. Sharks in South Africa are getting it from all sides. And, you know, there, there is absolutely a, a bycatch of white sharks. You know, we've seen animals at Seal Island that have got long line hooks in their mouths, they've got traces coming out of their mouths that are directly related to shark long lines. It's not small, um, circle hooks that are guys sport fishing for them, or long or hand line fishermen that have lost their catches to sharks. These are targeted long line hooks. We know what they look like. We've seen you know lots of long lines set before, and these animals are being caught offshore on the on these long lines. So um, white sharks are also undoubtedly being killed on, on these long lines set off our coast. But there was some improvement in the state of the white sharks population after it became officially protected here, right? I mean, it's not like well, nothing's happened. there's a lot of conjecture about that. I mean, if you read what the press says whenever there's a shark attack, or what the local public says whenever there's a shark attack, they talk about a population explosion of great white sharks. Now, certainly, biologically, these animals are not capable of suddenly reproducing at a huge rate. They take a long time to become sexually mature, produce relatively few pups, and in South Africa, you know, the, the argument that these animals, the population explosion is, 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 is suddenly there is completely flawed because, in essence, the only thing that the 1991 protection actually did was cut down on uh, the sport fishing for white sharks because that's the easiest thing to police. But if you look at all the other causes of white shark mortality in South Africa, and if we go through them, we have the Natal Sharks Board, which is the world's greatest commercial great white shark killing machine. We have the Natal Sharks Board, which is the world's greatest commercial great white shark killing machine. You've got long lining, and then you've got poaching for these animals. All three of those things continue today as they did before, and in the case of white shark poaching, I would hesitate to guess and say it's greater than ever before. So, how the population could have... Greater than ever before. Is that because, as a protected species, it actually became more valuable on the black market? Or why would it be greater than ever before? Well, I think, you know, the value of shark fins, for one, is growing. And it has continued to grow for a protracted period of time. White shark fins are highly prized. The really large fins, as you know, are not necessarily even eaten. They're kept as prized fins. You'll see them decorating many... Um, oriental fish dealers around the world. In the windows you'll have basking shark, whale shark and white shark fins with little ribbons around them. They're highly prized. White shark jaws have continued to grow in value as the, the number of really large animals has decreased. So the value of these animals has undoubtedly increased over, over the years.